Good morning and welcome to the Daily Tanya. Today is Friday, the second day of year, which is the birthday of the fourth Chabad Rabbi, the Rabbi Maharash, Rabbi Shmuel. He used to say, the Rabbi always repeated what the Rabbi Maharash used to say, that we need to go lechatchile ariber, which means you got to go big. Says the world says that you try to go under. If you cannot go under, you jump over. But I say, don't bother with going under. Go big. So that needs that is a good lesson in everything in life. Rebbe says we need to go big, think big, and go big in holy things. So let's begin. Ritzedaka, Kedela Tzedaka, Shemekareves Esageula, Tzedaka brings Mashiach. So today we conclude chapter 44. The chapter talks about different levels of love, loving Hashem in different levels, and we discussed yesterday about the two levels of love that comes, uh, has both. It is something that comes from our thinking, understanding, but it is a, an awakening, a, awakening something that is with, deep in us. And the two levels we said is nafshi ivisicha, understanding that God is my life, my soul, and that's why I desire God. And also think, understanding that Hashem is our Father. So just like a child would do anything for his parents, we want to do anything for Hashem. And we explained that this contains in it the higher level of love, the love that is given as a gift from above. Something that's that's called the Ahav Rabbah. As a gift from above, we have the Neshama, the soul, the innate love that we feel. So all we need to do is to think about it just to awaken it and this is compares to another level what we discussed in the previous chapters this uh, uh, love that we call the ahavat olam the love that comes out of the contemplation the thinking about the greatness of hashem so the question is if we have already that innate love the feeling that god is my soul the feeling that we are children of Hashem. Why is it necessary to also have this meditation and the greatness of Hashem, studying about the greatness of Hashem? And al Rebbe says, it gives two reasons why that is necessary. Even though we have that innate love, there is still an advantage of having that love that comes as a result of our deep contemplating about the greatness of Hashem. And that is in the passion of the love. We can compare it to two types of love. You have love among siblings, which is something that you have uh, that's there. You don't have to work on it. The love is there. But is it a passionate love? Not necessarily versus love of a spouse when you fall in love with someone something that you you have a passion it's a fiery love and you want to achieve it and perhaps sometimes you didn't get there yet you're working on to achieve that love to earn that love and this is this is a benefit in the in the fiery love that we have that we can create by contemplating about the greatness of Hashem. And I saw uh, uh, an article in the Chabad.org describes and gives a nice metaphor. An example says, picture you are sitting, drinking your coffee and you get, you check your mail and you see a big, nice envelope, an invitation from the White House. You think it's a joke, but then you get a phone call from the White House that says, did you receive the envelope, the invitation? Yes, there's a new program. The president wants to get to know the citizens, and you are randomly chosen. 
to come to see to have a private meeting with the with the president. Now I know not with every president it's going to work for you, but think of a president that you would really want to meet, and he's going to take you, and he's going to take you to the private plane. He's going to give you so much. So how would you think? What would your connection relationship with the president? Obviously, you're going to feel that connection. That great a person who is busy with some the world is his worries and yet he finds time and is important for him to have to get to know you personally and to show you around and so on and so forth. Just an example. You're thinking about the greatness of Hashem, studying about the greatness of God, how God, how vast and how everything in this world is, is nothing, how small we are compared to Him. And yet Hashem comes and wants us and wants a relationship, a personal relationship with us. So that creates a passionate love, something that you want to reach out from you to connect to something so much greater than you. And that he says this is a love of a love compared to the compares it to the gold standard of love, like gold compared to silver, as we'll soon see. So that's one reason why that is important. Second reason the Alter Rebbe says is because that's the purpose what God created the world. He wants us to get to know him. So to get to know him is part of, uh, obviously, as much as a human being can get to know. But, but this is part of the creation of the world that God wants us to know him. So let's see inside today's shir. Says the Alter Rebbe, Nonetheless, a person must strain his intellect to apprehend and attain also the above mentioned level of Ahavat Olam, the love of the world, which means loving to love God out of understanding the world seeing how God creates the world and everything, which stems from an understanding and knowledge of the greatness of God. As such, it differs from the level of my soul and like a son, which essentially are inherited and are only revealed through contemplation. While Understanding the love of God, creating love of, out of an understanding God, is a love that is created, not just revealed out of the contemplation, it is created out of this contemplation. And the reason why this is so important, says Dalte Rebbe, is in order to make this love a fiery love, not just a calm love. Mm-hmm. In order to fan the blaze of the fiery love with glowing coals and an intense fire and a flame that rises heavenward so that not even many waters, which are enemies of love, can extinguish it. No rivers quench it. In other words, when your love to Hashem is so powerful, and you understand the greatness of Hashem, and you want to connect to Hashem so powerfully, then the waters, which means temptations, all kind of challenges that you have, it's not going to extinguish that love. It's not going to stop you from wanting to connect to Hashem. So love created purely as a result of contemplation is more passionate and fiery than love which is essentially inherited. Even when the inherited love is revealed through contemplation. 
Continues the Alter and says the benefit of this love is so great. The fiery love. For there is a superiority and excellence in the quality of love burning like fiery coals and an intense flame which comes from an understanding and knowledge of the greatness and transcendence of the blessed Ein Sof over the two categories of love referred to above when they are not like fiery coals and blaze and ablaze, but merely a result from feeling or, or contemplating God's closeness to a Jew in as much as he is the source of life or our true father, Superior, so what is the superiority of love? He says he compares it to the su- superiority of, of gold over silver. Gold is obviously more expensive than silver, but it's not just because it's just rare. It is, there is something also about the glow of the gold that has a superiority. It's not just because gold is if you have more silver, it's going to be more, it's going to be, if you have a, a lot of silver, it's going to be worth more than a little bit of gold. But here there's the quality itself, the, the, the glow in the gold that draws, that uh, attracts the person. So he says, Similar, similar to the superiority and excellence of gold over silver and so forth. As as will be explained later. That's number one, the passionate love that we is necessary, and that comes as a result of this uh, love that is generated from understanding God's greatness. And then says the Alter Rebbe that the second reason why this is important is because that is the purpose. That is the whole reason why. That why, why the person was was uh, why God created us. Besides, this is the whole man and his raise on that uh, the whole purpose of his creation. The mandas is created Hashem. That one may know the glory of God and the majestic splendor of his greatness, each recording to the limits of his capacity. As is written in Rai Meimne in the Zohar, Parshas Bo, in order that they may know him, and so forth, as is known. So that is why this is so important, that this is part of the creation of the world, is that we should know God. Thus there is a special quality and purpose in the contemplation that leads to love itself. Contemplation of God's greatness is exercised to a much greater degree in the love that is created from contemplation, then it is found in the love which is merely revealed through contemplation, as in the case of the two aforementioned kinds of love. So this is the end of this chapter. Wishing you all a good Shabbos. There should be to be able to reach the level of what the Rebbe says, start with the big, with the greatest level of love Hashem, feeling that we are connected to Hashem. In this way, we'll be able to bring, fulfill the purpose of creation, which is the other reason that it's brought about the creation, is that we'll bring down Hashem right here, in this world, by 
doing all of the term mitzvahs with love and fear of Hashem and the coming of Mashiach very soon. Amen. Have a wonderful Shabbos. We'll see you after Shabbos.